So today, I am going to be switching my closet again. I know, I do this quite often, but I think I finally figured something out. So I will typically grab pieces that are for work, that are for cutting the grass, that are for painting, and I will wear them every day. So when I wear my good jeans to cut the grass, they get stained. So I'm thinking I am going to put all of my clothing, all of my seasonal clothing, all my clothing that I want to wear on a like nice daily basis in here. Anything that is stained, that is maybe not in the best condition, or that is for work, I'm going to put in a separate drawer. This way, when I'm going to work, when I'm going to cut the grass, or when I'm going to paint, I will go to the drawer and not grab like a nice sweater, right? So the other thing about it is in the winter, I was noticing I wanted tank tops, but my tank tops were put away. And sometimes in the summer, it gets a little bit cool and I wanna grab a sweater. So I think because I don't have too many pieces of clothing, it's just gonna make sense if I put all of my clothing here and then all of my like, I don't wanna say bad clothing, but all of my like work clothing, stained clothing, camping clothing in a drawer away. So we are going to go through all of this, sort everything out, hang up anything that is good, that I'm keeping, that is here. If there's any pieces that I feel like I need to declutter, I will. I'm gonna go through my summer drawer and put it all here. And then I have like a hamper and some stuff I have to clean up. So today that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be reorganizing my wardrobe. We're gonna be switching all of my clothing to like my summer clothing, decluttering if I need to declutter and just reorganizing. Let's do this. Okay, so for example, this shirt right here has like a stain and that's what I mean. Anything that has a stain, anything that is worn, anything that is not in like good condition, it's gonna go in that drawer. I'm always on the fence about this sweater, so I'm just going to put it in my work drawer and if my work drawer becomes too full, I will declutter it. This is stained. It is a very comfy sweatshirt, but it is so stained. That's what I mean, like when I'd wanna wear good clothing, all of my clothing is like, not bad, but all of my clothing is stained and really worn because I wear it for things I shouldn't be wearing it for. Gymshark Apollo t-shirt in the drawer. Okay, so now I'm getting to like my better pieces of clothing. So this is my dynamite shirt. I will never apparently turn my clothing the right side way when I hang it up. Maybe that will change. I don't think so. Okay, that is good. Um, and I went through the majority of my sweaters, so it's right here. This dress I am going to keep in the front because I'm more likely to wear it in the summer. It's really, really thin and maybe on like cooler days or cooler nights, I can throw this on. I'm gonna keep my thick dress here. We're going to move my, I can't wait to wear this, my black dress in the front. I'm going to declutter this. It's a nice cardigan, but you know what? It's not comfortable, so it's always really, really stiff. So I'm going to get rid of that. This Gymshark long coat sweater thing is going to go in the entrance. I have one hoodie that I really like to wear and it's this Roots one. It's dark purple and I really, really like it. So I'm gonna keep it. I have three like cozy pieces. I have my house coat, which I'm gonna keep up here. And then I have this one, which is like a teddy bear coat, and then my Snuggie. Oh, actually, I should keep this in the basement. I will keep this downstairs, and I will keep my, what do you call it, house coat in here. This is what I have so far. I am going to tidy everything up behind the scenes. 
when we come back I will put other things in here all right so I've organized my clothing a bit this is not everything this is kind of just the starting the dress that I talked about the long like beige one needed to be washed but I'm trying to put all of my like thin long sleeves here and my t-shirts my summer dresses and then I have like my thicker comfy stuff which will be like pushed back and then all of my summer stuff will be here so this is what we have so far I have my pile of um I don't want to call it like raggedy clothing but like work clothing I have my declutter slash maybe pile I go back and forth with this hoodie so much so I may pass it on to my sister and then here is the drawer I have not tried on my swimsuits yet. I think I'll do a try on video and that'll be up like next week where I try all my swimsuits and I'll only keep the ones that I really like. So I need to wash these shorts. So I have one pair of jean shorts, but these really need a wash. I did not wash them before I put them away, which I noticed a lot with my clothing. So good thing I'm going through my clothing. This is to be hung up. This is to hang up, hang up try on try on hang up at least I have a one pair of summer pants that's all I need but hang up hang up we will hang that up hang that up hang that up try on try on these are all swim suit bottoms cool so let's hang this up let's put those in the wash let's put this in the drawer. Oh wow, we're gonna be looking pretty good because I do have a few other pieces that I do need to put in here, but I think it's all gonna fit. And this is gonna be so much easier now to grab work clothes. I have been looking to get like a different closet organizer. I'll put a picture on the screen right here, but I wanna get something so I have like shelving because this actually does go pretty deep. like. I have like a nice size closet. I actually really like the size of my closets. Up here, it goes like way up. So I have a nice size closet actually. So I enjoy that, but I'd like to get like an organizer or a different closet layout. We were thinking about making one, but the wood is so expensive right now and it may just be cheaper just to get like a metal thing, so we'll see, but let's continue putting my summer clothing in here. Oh, and by the way, I put my hair in a ponytail. I didn't realize this until yesterday when the heat kicked in. I have one dress. One dress that is for around the house because it's just a little short or like for family and friends or whatever, but to go do groceries, it's a little short just for me. Maybe if it wasn't so flowy, because when air catches it, it puffs out. So anyway, like I have this one also, but I don't consider it like a summer dress. Like it is a summer dress. And then this also reminded me that I need to get a bralette. After this video, I am going to be writing down the things that I need. I need a bralette. I need a couple more pairs of shorts. I would like a skirt. I need, I need probably two or three dresses. I live in dresses in the summer, so two or three dresses. So anyway, after this video, I'm gonna write that down and I'll probably be doing a clothing haul in June because that's when I plan to shop. We are still under lockdown. Why am I talking? I should just be hanging clothes up. But I'm from Canada and in Ontario, we are still under lockdown and there's gonna be different stages, but it doesn't look like things are going to be like, fully open and running until like the end of July. Like I can't get my hair done or my eyebrows done until the end of July as of right now. I believe stores will be open for shopping June 3rd. I could be wrong, but I believe it's early June. I would really like to do some like in-store shopping rather than online if possible, especially for shoes because I'm like in between sizes, so it's just hard for me to be able to tell what size I'd be online. Like sure, I could measure or try and figure it out, but I don't know. I just find I need to do in-store shopping for shoes. 
and I really need a new pair of shoes because I have one pair of running shoes that are kind of like when I cut the grass or when I take the dog for a walk so they're not like fancy shoes and then I have my one pair of like sketcher slide-ons which I absolutely love they were the best thing I could have spent my money on like let me tell you if you have sore feet invest money in your shoes but I'm telling you even if you just spend like 30 or 40 dollars on a pair of like slide on summer shoes it's gonna make the biggest difference I used to get sore feet and sore knees all the time because of my shoes now I don't so anyway I want to get a pair one pair one or two pairs of summer shoes I'm not sure yet we will see so I have my pants I have my dresses and rompers I have one tank top if I get another tank top I get another tank top um, I have a couple of my t-shirts right here I feel like I'm good and then everything else is like my long sleeves and sweaters and then I have a pair of shorts right here which I don't have anywhere to hang these because they will actually just slide right off of the hanger so I'm going to just toss them just above here and I have a laundry hamper I'm going to go through if I have any more pieces I will put them here um I have a few pieces in the wash right now but not that much I know I have three pairs of leggings I really don't have that much left this is basically it yeah I'm at 26 right now and typically I like to keep the pieces in here around like 30 to 40 pieces and I currently have 26 hung up right now so I feel like this is the majority of my clothing I really don't feel like there's that much more I think I have like seven pieces in the drawer so I feel like this is it I really don't think I'm missing much but I am gonna go through my laundry and then we will decide what we're doing with that sweater I found one more pair of leggings these are American Eagle leggings American Eagle has amazing leggings like I have had these now for over two years and they are great. I'm definitely gonna be going to American Eagle for another pair of leggings when the store opens because I I love them. I seriously find them like a dupe for the aligns. I have a pair of pants and a Gymshark top to put in my drawer, so that's good. And then these two I am just going to declutter. I'm gonna get rid of this just because I like it but I'm never in love with it and I wear it just to wear it. So I'm gonna give it to my sister if she wants it. I'm gonna declutter this just because it is so stiff and that is that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it motivated you to maybe go through your clothing, your wardrobe and see what you wear, what you don't wear or to bring out those summer pieces, whatever it may be. And if you wanna see me try on the swimsuits, let me know in the comments down below because I will be doing that. Also, if you want to see me doing a video where I try on my grandma's vintage clothing, she's 93. If you want to see me try on her vintage clothing, let me know. I have a garbage bag full. I mean, like, it's probably bigger than the size of me. I have a lot of it. And if you want to see me try on her clothing, let me know in the comments down below. I have enough to probably do two, maybe three videos, like part one, part two, part three. If you want to see me do that, let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you all in my next video very soon. Bye.